Greetings everyone and welcome to Beaver Branch Adventures Step 2 Online Virtual YouTube Clinic for Disc Golf. Um, and what we got with this one is we're stepping up to the mid ranges. So if you didn't start off with the putters in 1.0 and uh, 1.5, go back and check that out. I'll try to put that in the link. But this time, what we're looking at is throwing mid-ranges and trying to get the mid-range to go straight. Again, just working on our form and working on trying to get the disc to go straight, depending upon the, the disc's stability. So for this, I got two retro fuses. These are uh, pretty flippy. And then I have two opto fuses, which is more uh, of the neutral point and shoot variety. And then I have the West Side Gatekeeper as my three mid ranges that I'm going to work on in this video. So let's get it started. Let's check it out. Always make sure you warm those muscles up. All right, we are throwing at a target that is about 220 feet here into a headwind. And we're starting off with retro fuses. These are my, my least stable mid-range. And you can see off that hyzer release, both of those went a little bit to the right. Um, and here we are with opto fuses. A little bit more confident that these aren't going to go all the way over on the same snap almost. You can see this one was a really good one. It's kind of running the basket. Again, working the field work, trying to figure out exactly where straight is on all of these discs. Now this is a gatekeeper and it's kind of a control variable here. Um, don't necessarily have the arm speed to completely straighten the gatekeeper, but um, I can make it straighten for a little while before it fades out or hyzers. And here we are throwing with a tailwind. Now with the tailwind can just really pump on an unstable disc uh, with that hyzer release. You can see it standing up and the disc will become more stable with that tailwind. So therefore you can actually throw with more arm speed to get that disc to go straight with the tailwind. Or you can adjust your angle. Fuse is such a great disc to learn how to throw straight. I think some people get deterred by it because it's a little tricky to learn. But once you get it, it's a very nice disc. And again, the gatekeeper here, uh, kind of as my stable control, um, can get it to straighten for a little while, but definitely has uh, some dependable fade there at the end. All right, so continued emphasis on field work and getting muscle memory reps. As you saw there with my retro fuses, takes a little bit more hyzer, a little bit more hyzer, and it stands up, goes straight, okay? Have to get exactly the right arm speed to do it, and that's why mentally you have to get these reps in. The opto fuse, slightly more stable than the retro. That one I'm using a little bit. I'm still using a good amount of hyzer, but not as much as the retro to get it to stand up and go straight. And then the gatekeeper, which is actually a zero turn. The fuses are both negative one turns. Gatekeeper is a zero turn, uh, similar to a rock or um, an EMAC truth. Um, it takes a lot more arm speed to get it to get straight and it actually was more off of a flat release in order to get it to go straight for that long a time with a slight amount of finish. So working on the mids, that's 2.0. Make sure you get your field work in 
all of those shots can be done with that one, two, three step up. Make sure you're working that. And then we're gonna jump into 2.5, which is gonna be fairway drivers in just a second. All right, welcome to 2.5. So for 2.5, what we're doing is we were throwing understable seven speed fairway drivers, although two of them are gonna be actually on the stable side. So I got two Mavericks, I got two Rivers, excellent beginner discs, and I got two Explorers, that's that blue disc that seemed pretty stable and probably went out of sight as we threw it. So we're gonna check these out and we're gonna work on doing some field work and trying to get them to fly straight. Now, Paul Macbeth, in one of his fieldwork videos on his channel, he talked about when he first gets to the field, he throws all of his discs and tries to get them to go straight and to assess like how beat in they are. So that's a pretty interesting little uh, fact I picked up by watching his channel. Um, but we are gonna throw fairway drivers just like we did the mid rangers and the putters, just seeing what we can do to make them go straight. So check it out. Can't emphasize enough uh, field work. Um, so we're kind of doing a step up program here. You go from putters to mid rangers and now fairway drivers. Fairway drivers uh, often being underrated. And with each of these jumps, we're only jumping like 40 to 60 feet um, further. Um, but we are learning how to control the disc, which is extremely important. That's why you need to get the reps in. All right, guys, here's a look at the discs I'm going to be using. This is the Dynamic Discs Maverick. You can see it's a speed seven, glide four, turn of 1.5 with a fade of two. Uh, both of these are beat in to about the same state of being beat in. And in the middle of the two fairway drivers here, I got the seven speed river. The river is a seven speed with a glide of seven, a turn of negative one and a fade of one. So those numbers are telling me it's a straight disc. And my stable disc for this is going to be the Explorer. The Explorer is a seven speed disc, a glide of five with a turn of zero and a fade of two. Definitely a, a very good disc to have for that stability. All right, and here we go actually with the tailwind here, going with the Maverick. So we're going from our least stable to most stable. Maverick is a very useful disc. You don't need much arm speed to get it to straighten. They do come in air plastic. Uh, we are throwing lucid plastic in this video, which is, I think, the Maverick, the plastic I like the most for that disc. Um, and they are 175 gram discs. This is the River. River's got a ton of glide, and it's also easy to straighten. Can be used for very similar shots to the Maverick. My two rivers aren't quite as beat in as these orange Mavericks and do have a little bit of fade at the end, you'll notice here. The control here is going to be the blue Explorers, and I'm sorry, uh, the blue kind of goes out of view here. Um, they are going to be kind of like my gatekeepers of the fairway driver department, and they are going to want to... They straighten for a little while, but they definitely have a fade at the end. Now we're just gonna take shots with a left to right wind here, trying to get straight down there into the woods. And again, we're just kind of teetering here. We want to learn how to throw straight so that we can learn how to do the other shots. Uh, you know, learning how to do Anheuser's and Heiser's. But in order to do that, we have to continue to get enough reps. 
you can't just go to the disc golf course and naturally throw these discs. You have to practice with them. And that's a key point of emphasis here for me. I try to throw my discs and just get to know what they do. And I think at times field work does, does more than playing actual practice rounds. So get yourself to the field and get in that work. All right, guys, make sure you're out there doing your field work, getting those muscle memory reps, trying to figure out each of your discs. I think as you saw there, um, the Maverick is my least stable, which is beautiful because it takes less arm speed to get it to get flat. Um, I often use the Maverick at places like Iron Hill off the tee pad almost every single hole. For me, I can control it more, I can keep it straight, and I can keep it in the fairway. Uh, very similar to the river. Although I find the river fades a little bit more than my Mavericks, they're a little bit more stable. Excellent glide, but easy to get straight to get to flat. The Explorer was kind of my control here. Um, I don't have enough arm speed to make the Explorer off that hyzer release go straight or even flip to the right at all. So that was more of my control here. I do use the Explorer obviously for hyzer shots which we will talk about in 3.0. So we got 2.0, 2.5, fairway drivers, tricks of the trade, getting your disc to go flat, to get it to flatten. From this point, once we develop this, then we will be able to manipulate the disc so that we can work it into Anheuser shots, so left to right shots if you're right hand backhand because now we know exactly where it gets to flat once we know where to get the flat then we will go to 3.0 which is going to be about manipulating the shot and shot shaping that's it for now thanks again for joining me like share subscribe uh, i appreciate comments um and we will see you on the next one